Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back. Um, it is Tuesday, December 1st. Is it? Yes, it is. Hard to believe. Hold on. I need to adjust you guys a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I don't know why my heart, my voice is hoarse all of a sudden. Sorry. Um, but yes, it's Tuesday, December 1st. Um, and thankfully, Abby has been sleeping really good today. She, this past weekend, she just, for some reason, didn't want to sleep unless she was being held. And when she did sleep, it wasn't usually for very long. Um, but like I said, she's been sleeping really well today. We had switched out her food, her formula from Similac to the Gerber Good Start. Um, I think it's Pro Smooth or something like that. It's supposed to help with colic and um, gas and spit up and all that good stuff. So excessive air. Um, but it seems to be um, doing its thing. She seems to be feeling better than she did this past weekend, which is good. She had a doctor's appointment yesterday. Um, everything was looking good. She's officially two pounds more than she was when she was born. But um, a lot of people don't realize this unless you're a new, new parent, unless you're a parent. Babies actually will lose some of that weight in the couple of days after they're born. So she had she had lost a pound within those first couple of days and so she's unofficially gained three pounds since she was since a couple of days after she was born. So, um and then she is when she was born, I think she was 19 and a half inches long. She's officially 21 inches now. So she's grown longer. Um, of course, the head's gotten bigger. Of course. Um, but everything's looking good. We discussed her formula with her doctor. Um, well, we discussed. I discussed the formula that we had started using. Um, and he he seemed on board with it. He said that's good. You know that should that should work work out for you so and it seems to be working out um and the only other news is i started back to work last night i know right i'm not going to be working very many hours um it's pro i told them to keep it under 20 hours a week um just for right now um because I don't want to, for one, we're not sure what's going to go on with Annie's job. Um, the COVID restrictions are starting to get a little bit more strict. And so they're going to do, they have to, they're going to COVID test everybody on Thursday. And at a warehouse, um, somebody's bound to test positive for it. And the... The downside, the thing that we're most worried about is that if somebody in his apartment that he, or even not in his department that he possibly could have come in contact with, um, if it's somebody that he could have come in contact with at any point, um, he would have to go on quarantine for two weeks as well. Um, so that would be two weeks of income that we wouldn't have so I'm kind of glad I started back to work but um, really last night the only thing I did was um, I made myself more familiar with the new system that they installed after I initially left at the end of October um, so um, so that was all I did last last night um, on one position on the 
position at the end of the cafeteria line where you ring the food up and give them a ticket. Um, and then, so I, I got pretty familiar with that. I'm probably not an expert right now on any level. Um, but I'm sure the more I use it, the more I'll figure it out. Um, and I go back tomorrow evening, um, because I'm only going to be working in the evenings uh, because I need to make sure that there's somebody here to babysit the baby. Um, so I go back tomorrow night and I am going to be doing the same thing. Um, uh, the same thing I was doing last night, but I'm going to be doing it with the cashier um, position at the very front, which is the position that actually rings up the tickets and takes the money. Um, and I will definitely need to stay over and watch her um, do the paperwork because apparently the paperwork has changed as well. So, um, and then from the sounds of things, I probably will work again on Friday, but I'm not entirely sure right now. Um, so yeah, that's exciting that I'm back to work. And just, just to let y'all know, these are two positions that can sit down. This is the only two positions in the restaurant where it's permitted to sit down. So, um, so that is what I have been up to. Um, and like I said at the beginning of this video, Abby has been sleeping very well, so I have been getting in some stitching. And today I have been working on, solely on the 2020 review. And just a second and I will show you how far I've gotten. Um, and it's been nice being able to get some stitching in. Um, in between, oh, like while she's napping. So, but that's what I've been up to. <laughs> I know, right? Sorry, I forgot that I needed to keep an eye on the pattern. Um, So, doing a little cute uh, <laughs> editing here. Um, so, this is how far I've gotten. Um, I did this star here. Get out of the way, thread. I did that star right there. Um, and I have started on the number. On the date at the top up here it's 2020 so but that's how far i've gotten on this i've actually gotten a lot done this is just today i said i got that done today and i've gotten so far i've gotten that one if i can get this number two done then i'll put it away for the rest of the day um because i don't want to work on it too too much you know i want to pace myself um but yeah i'm excited I had to look at the pattern and make sure that this um, little stair step if it kept going or not where it's like every line is one one stitch back and then one stitch out you know what I mean like you have one two three and then the next line up is like it goes back one it goes in one from the one below it and then one two three that last stitch is out past one stitch from the line below it. You know what I mean? Um, 
I just call it like stair stepping. Um, so I had, I had to make sure that I wasn't doing something wrong. But one, two, three, okay. So after this row, then it kind of switches up to where there's only two and not three in this next row. So you gotta keep an eye on stuff like that. But yeah, that's basically what I'm doing today. Um, I, I'm making some barbecue uh, meatballs tonight. Some ground chicken barbecue meatballs. They're, they're really good. Um, and I have procrastinated on making those the last couple of days. And I'm not trying to do it again today. So I'll probably make those sooner rather than later. Um, and I've also been... Like, I'll try to make dinner when I know that I have time to make dinner while she's napping. Because it never fails. As soon as you start eating, they wake up. And when that when that happens, like we have to pass her off. It's like, okay, you go ahead and eat. I'll hold her and feed her and everything while you eat. And then when I get done, when you get done, then I'll pass her off to you. Um, but that's what we had to do this past weekend. So we'll see how it goes tonight. Um, because the bar the the meatballs aren't that hard. Um. They just take a little while to cook. So. But. Like I said. That's what's been going on with me. Um, I know. This was a long clip. And I hope everyone is doing well. I um, hope you're getting in lots of stitching. Um, you guys know from the last vlog. That I didn't get much stitching in. This past weekend. But. If things are going to go back to normal for a little while, if she's going to settle back into a napping, napping routine, then maybe I'll be able to get a little bit more stitching in right now for a while. Um, minus the working a few evenings a week. So, um, yeah, I guess I shall see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hey guys, um, it is actually December the 2nd, uh, which is Wednesday. Um, Abby is, I just put Abby down not too long ago. Um, after waking up two hours ago, two hours before. So it took me that long to get her comfortable and fed and comfortable and to sleep. So, um, it happens sometimes, and, uh, you know, I don't fault her. So, but, um, as you can see, I, from the diamond painting before you, I thought I would come in here and do a little diamond painting today because I felt like it. Um, normally I will uncover a much larger area, about, probably about twice the size but knowing that I probably don't have a lot of time, um, I'm just going to do a smaller section. So, um, don't really have much to talk about. So, um, like my pen, like my, 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 my diamond painting pen. Um, I got this from, uh, AliExpress along with, um, a couple other ones. I don't know what it is. It's just fun. Like, it's not long. It's kind of sh on the shorter side. Um, if you're not counting the pom-pom. But, uh, I do like it. Um, I've been using it uh, the last couple of times I've diamond painted. Um, so let's get into this. What's, what color do I want to start out with? I feel like my, my nails. Let us start with this deep color right here. And that is... 19. Um, the way I have this particular painting set up, um, 
I um, I have it in a larger, um, it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's a, a case, sorry, sorry, there was a hair. Um, it's like a larger case that has these, um, uh, screw top bottles in it. And, um, I have the actual, like the largest size of the bottles that you can get. And so what I've done is I have, um, put the DMC number along with the symbol, um, as a sticker, I stuck it to the top, um, I made, made the sticker with the Xyron, uh, sticker maker, and I just, I basically cut out the strip with the symbols on it, as well as the, um, the list of the DMC numbers, and I used the sticker maker and stuck the, cut them out, stuck them onto the top of each bottle. Um, and I can insert a picture so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, I just don't want to disturb my camera right now. Um, because it would be a very lengthy process to get it back the way it is right now. So, um, I guess you're wondering if I have anything to talk about. Not really. <laughs> um, I just thought I would come in today and do my little vlog thing and, uh, show you guys what I'm doing today. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people doing the, the Flossmas and that's fine. I did that last year. Um, unfortunately, I just, I feel like my life is not exciting enough to try to come in and every day and do an entry for Flossmas. Um, and plus I don't really have enough subscribers that would care. If I did a vlog entry every single day. Um, so there's that. And, uh, maybe, I don't know. I just don't feel like doing it this year. Um, maybe I can do it next year. I don't know. So, but this is, I'm already, I feel like since I'm already kind of doing you know, the vlog style videos, um, just to, just because that's how I'm doing it. I need to turn my light on. Sorry. Is that too bright for y'all? Turn it down just a little bit. Um, for some reason I have to be able to see what the diamonds look like before I choose which one I'm going to choose. Um, but anyway, what I was saying. I feel like since I'm already kind of doing vlog style videos, just because that's how it's going to work best for me this year. Um, even though I'm not doing them every day, um, that's pretty close, right? Like you're still getting the vlog style. So, and I don't, I, here's the thing. I didn't. I don't really watch too many of the Vlogmas videos. Not that it's not interesting and I'm sure it's fun for a lot of people. Um, I, I don't watch them just because they do tend to be on the shorter side and I don't really care for the shorter videos. Um, it really depends if, if it's, any time, any other time during the year, it really depends on the, um, person and what the video might be about. 
um, or what they may have to say, like their whole reason why their video might be short. Um, but I don't normally care for shorter videos, and a lot of times Vlogmas videos are, um, you know, five minutes, seven minutes, um, ten minutes or less. And that's not really my cup of tea. So, yeah, I probably won't be watching a lot of the Vlogmas, Vlogmas videos just because of that. Um, I have watched a few. Don't get me wrong, um, from a couple of people, but I probably won't be watching a lot of them. Um, like I said, just because it's, they, they do tend to be shorter. Okay, so that's all of that color, I think. I'm going back and checking here. Um, go away, Matt. Why are you still here? Um, I'm not seeing any more D's. So it's all that color. So this is this is the the bottles that I'm talking about. Um, these are a larger size. They hold a good amount, probably a couple of thousand um, drills. So um, that's why I like using these, especially for these larger diamond paintings. Um, uh, let's see what's next. Uh, let's do let's do the H. The H is, and I forgot to show you, sorry. I just pulled out the next one. See, this is what I'm talking about. Um, I cut out the strip with the DMC um, numbers on it, and also the strip with the um, symbols on it. Um, cut them apart and, um, well, ran them through the sticker maker, um, and then cut them apart and stuck them onto the tops of my bottle so that I can see, I can just look at my bottle and see what the code is. I can, I can do it by code. Um, so that I can look at and see, okay, where's the H and see there's the H symbol there and that lets me know. That's the one I need. Um, so that's how I do that. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would get in a little bit of diamond painting. I really honestly, as much as I wish I could um, do this painting for my mom, while it's still like, I don't know, before she completely forgets everything. Um, I really don't think that's going to happen, but I still want to um, push on with this uh, particular one, just because if I sh if she should ever pass away before I finish it, this would just be a um, memorial piece, so to speak. You know, just be something that I was doing for her that make that would probably make me think of her. Um, but kind of on that note, the dog that was that one her last dog that she had, um, because I used to have three cocker spaniels, um, and this is a picture of a a cocker spaniel. Um, it's one of the kind of buff colored ones, the kind of light caramely tan colored ones. Um the her, her last one that she had um that was 14 years old, she unfortunately had to have him um put to sleep a couple of weeks ago. So um she no longer has any dogs. <laughs> But it's still, it, I think this would still make a good um, memorial type piece. It's a beautiful dog. So even if it doesn't go to her, um, it would still be a beautiful picture to have up in my home. If I should ever be able to actually do something with this. Because I have yet to like frame any diamond paintings. 
is not really how I do things. <laughs> because all the ones that I've completed have been smaller. And um, my finishing, quote unquote finishing, of those particular um, projects has just been to um, cut the edges off. Um, Uh, what do you call it? Seal them, cut the edges off, and glue them uh, spray with spray adhesive into a port artist portfolio. Um, but they have they've all been like smaller ones, so it's the portfolio would fit probably at maximum an actual probably forty five by. I don't know, 50? I don't know, something like that. It's 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 a bigger size portfolio, but at the same time, it wouldn't accommodate like a large, huge diamond painting. So, but yeah, that's what I'm getting up to today. I have to go to work later on. I gotta be at work at three, so Andy's gotta come straight home. Um, and he comes home, I'm going to head out the door probably not long after he gets home. So it'd be just enough time for us to kind of chit chat about, I don't know, what are you gonna do, what we're gonna do for dinner or um, anything that might have happened at work or something, I don't know. Um, he's kind of worried about, they're, um, uh, they're gonna do a COVID testing of everybody at his job tomorrow basically tomorrow and he's worried that he, he's pretty sure okay well it's it's a larger warehouse so surely they're gonna find somebody that is gonna test positive for it and his main concern is um, whether or not it's gonna be somebody that he possibly would have come in contact with because if that's the case then anybody that's come in contact or come come near possibly could have had contact with that person has to also stay quarantined for 14 days so if that should happen that's going to be two weeks of work that he's not going to have and that's that's what we're most concerned about so, um, but I did start back to my job, um, if he has to stay quarantined, I guess I could, um, put in some extra hours, tell them, you know, put me on some extra hours if you got them. So, that's the good thing about the, the place that I work at, is they're very, um, they will work with you, uh, for, you know, what you can, what hours you can and can't work, or, the amount of hours that you can and can't work. Um, when I was pregnant, probably that last month that I worked, I was able to um, switch back and forth between jobs that allowed to for sitting down. And there's only two of those jobs in that place. So um, they, they were good to work with me on that kind of stuff. Um, sorry, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to find the next symbol. So, but anyway, um, I, I hear a little miss stirring back there. So I'm going to call, call it a wrap for right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting down to today. Just thought I would check in with you guys and, uh, Say hi. <laughs> hi. In the, uh, yeah. I guess I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, it's me again. Um, it today is Sunday, December the 6th. As you can see, I have a big sleeping baby right here. Um, she's had a rough morning. Um, in that she hasn't been 
trying to sleep very well, but I don't know what's going on. It's probably got some extra, extra air in there somewhere that just doesn't want to come up. Or some gas that doesn't want to come out. Um, but sleeping on me seems to be the best way for her to get any sleep right now. Um, so it is what it is. I did want to quickly come in here and give you guys kind of an update about what I've done the last few days. Because I think the last time I recorded was on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. Because I did have every intention. I did kind of have an idea that I might try to do Flossmas. Um, but like in a weekly vlog series, like to do... Um, um, hold on. Sorry, um, Andy's at the store and he was messaging me about what to get. Um, but I think what I was saying was that I had an idea that I was, that I might try to do Vlogmas or Flossmas, whatever you want to call it. Um, but as a weekly format to record something every single day. But then record it, like, upload it a week at a time. That, after the second day, I think that quickly fell by the wayside. Because on the third day, I didn't have anything to say. I didn't have anything to show because I didn't have any progress or anything like that. So, um, it is what it is. We're just going to stick with the the current way. Um, so... But I want to show you real quick about what I do have progress on. Um, I haven't gotten anything in the mail because I'm not still not able to purchase anything. Um, I did get, I don't know how much, how much more progress you're going to see on this. Um, I was showing you the 333. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard to show. Um, I did get that section done there. Um, and then I did start on, I think it's color number 340. There's a few stitches here. I can't show. There's a few stitches kind of going right there in 340. But, that's literally about all I got done. And, I think I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and put this away now. Um, I know. I get little teeny tiny bits of progress on this thing at a time. And it's the same way with my other mirror, um, the Aphrodite Mermaid. Like I get little teeny tiny snippets of progress on it at a time. And I don't know why it's like that. They're beautiful designs and I get where I really want to work on them. But I just, I just don't get around to working on them. So... This will be officially put away. And the next thing will be brought out. And I think that's going to be the long dot sampler. The mystery. I'm just calling it mystery cell. Or um, mystery sampler. Um, and it was in the get the stitching. One of the magazine. One of the issues. Actually it was in five different issues. I think it's in four or five issues. I think it's in like four or five parts. Something like that. So, that would be the next thing to come out for a week. Um, I also got progress. I got progress, but I'm going to have to un, um, unstitch a few things. Um, I got a little bit of progress done on the 2020 pandemic sampler. I think I was up here last time you saw it. I've come down a little bit more. Not much. Um... But, for some reason, I decided to skip a space. I actually got more progress. Um, but I had come down here and then realized that this, these few stitches right here, I had turned them the wrong way for some reason. Um, like it's up and then down. Where I had gone, this one was up and then this one was down. I don't know why. But I had to go, I had to, I was... Where was I? I was about here somewhere and I had to go all the way back and unstitch it. Luckily, 
I had just started this, I had just started a strand, not this particular strand. I had just started a strand on that leaf right there. So I had to, I had to go pick all the way back up and um, restitch that the right way. And then I stitched some more. I don't know why I skipped a space. You see that? Like how they, they, they meet. They, they are supposed to meet. I don't know why I skipped a space right there. I don't know why. So I'm going to have to unpick that and restitch it. But when I had to unpick uh, and re restitch from this back up here and I had to get start going back and restitching it the thread completely like it just shredded at one point and so I was literally in the middle of a stitch and it just like a little bit of it came out like the whole rest of it came out so I'm like what the heck and I looked back and it had completely shredded itself separate so I had to tie it off and it was literally about the same amount on the other half and I'm like I am not trying to stitch with that I might get 20 stitches with it I'm not bothering with that right at this particular point in time so I just I put I, I tied off um, the strand that was already in progress I went ahead and tied it off and I just clipped it in the other half I just went ahead and put it in my or jar I'm like this is DMC it's not special it's cheap so I, I'm, I wasn't worrying about it anyway so I just went ahead and started a new strand um, but like I said I need to go back and um, I need to go back and frog that little piece out right there um, and actually I need, to, I need to frog out both of those things right there because one is off because this is off because I base it off of the leaf. I guess you could call that a leaf. I don't know. But I need to go back and frog that out. Frog out those few stitches and redo them. Um, still enjoying this immensely. I don't know why. This, this border is like, it's one of those borders that's, um, especially this vine right here, like it's continuous around the whole piece. So once you get the the basic pattern of it like you know this this part right here and this part once you get the basic pattern of it it's it's so easy like you could probably you could stitch on it without the pattern while watching tv or something um you just have to be mindful of how many of these that you're doing <laughs> how how far down you go but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish off this strand and it'll probably come down to here ish and then I'm going to do the same over on this side and then I will start um what's in the middle in here but I really do love working on this piece um it's just not always the greatest to work on especially in the evenings because it's dark and this is dark fabric and even though I have my magnifier glasses with the light on it and I have an odd light yet here sometimes it doesn't actually help um to be able to see where the whole actual holes are so um I try to work on it when I can so you'll you'll see a little bit of progress here and there I would like to actually be able to finish this thing next year it's, yeah, I'm not, it's not going to happen for me to finish it this year. <laughs> yeah, no. But uh, I would like to finish this next year if possible. But we'll see how much progress I can get on it. So, um, been working on that a little bit here and there. And then, lastly, I can show you the progress that I've gotten done on the 2020 review. Again, I have my needle minder strategically placed. Um, I finished the number two and I kind of started on where the, the first zero is right here and I think if I have room to finish that then I will move the Q-snap. I should have enough room 
maybe to get that done. I hope I don't have to move the Q-snap just for that. Not the Q-snap, but the hoop. So, yes, I have a couple of these things. Um, this is really the only one that I, that I can use. Um, I got these, they were labeled as like cable ties or headphone ties or something like that. Um, but these are a shorter version. Let me show you. These are a shorter version. Um, but I think they're good for when you only have like a little bit of fabric to hold. So. But did I show you that I had finished that star? I think I did. And then I was working on the two right here. I did finish that two. And now I am working on the zero. So. But that's the progress that I've gotten done since Tuesday, I think. Or Monday. I think the last time I showed my stitching was Monday. Because when I did my update Tuesday, I was diamond painting. Oh, and I did get that section finished. Um, on my diamond painting, so it's not a huge section, but it's progress is progress, right? So, but that's pretty much going to do it for today. I don't have anything else to talk about. Um, I have to work pretty much every day this week except for Wednesday, and then Wednesday when Andy gets off from work and gets home, we're going to ride over to my mom's house because I need to. We need to. Um, I've got to help her. Um, with the car tag for the car that she's currently driving and he's going to try to see um, if the car that she's hopefully going to sell to us that we're probably going to try to get from her um, he's looking to see if he can get it running because we just think the battery is probably just dead um, but he needs to check the fluid and stuff in it too since it's been sitting for eight months probably at least eight months seven or eight months um so um yeah we need to do that so but i will still be here with her during the day so i might still have trouble pro try the i might still have opportunities to give a little updates here and there if I have anything to update on so that's gonna do it for today um, like I said nothing much to talk about just a sleepy baby I'm not gonna try to disturb her by trying to move her and put her in her bassinet right now um, she sleeps for some reason she likes sleeping like this but um, that's gonna do it for today um, and I guess I will come back when I have something else to talk about. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Um, it's me again. Today is Monday. I don't have a calendar with me, so I don't know. Um, 7th? December 7th? Okay. Um, as you can see, I'm coming to you from the room o craft slash spare bedroom that we still haven't fixed up yet. Um, it's a process. Um, so God, this shirt always likes to like. It's one of those shirts that likes to curl up at the bottom. Thought I would give y'all a little something extra to look at today. Got my Star Labs shirt on. Um. But I'm going to be losing weight in 2021 and this shirt will hopefully fit me a lot better by the end of 2021. Um, and so I needed to come to you today from this room. Um, I do have a little bit of something to show you, but um, if you saw my book collection video. I know a lot of people haven't watched it, but if you saw my book collection video, I left a book out. Um, 
and I started thinking about it after after it was po after the video was posted. I'm like, I have two of those Craftboy Christmas books. I knew that I was I knew instantly what I forgot. But um I'll go ahead and show you that since I'm talking about it. Um but this is the the Cross Stitch Christmas from 2019. This is the one that people seem to like a lot better, including me. Um, this has a lot of really, really pretty designs that, um, oh, and there's ones on the other side as well. Um, I did do a flip through of this. I know for a fact that I did a flip through of this. So, if, um, so if you would like to see everything that is in this book, um, go back in my videos, kind of like this one, but a lot of these, like, it has a small picture on the same page as the pattern, so it's hard to show. Um, so yeah, and this one is really pretty, too. So, this one has a lot of really, really nice designs in it. Ooh, I forgot that was in there. It's like, um... Um, nativity sampler. I love that. It is so pretty. I need to stitch that. So that's a little taste of other stuff that's in here. But this is the 2019 Cross Stitch Christmas. This is best of favorites. And like I said, I did do a flip through of this last year when it, when I got it. So if you want to see everything that's in here, um, go check that video out. Um. But that completes my cross stitch book collection. Um, and also, I did go ahead and switch over my hoop. Uh, well, switch over my project last night. I went ahead and took the um, Miss Cherry Blossom off of the Q snap. I wanted to put the next thing, which is, I just, I'm just. I have it listed in alphabetical order with everything else, but it's under mystery sampler. <laughs> um, it's a long dog samplers mystery sampler that was in the gift of stitching. It was a four part series. Um, I can show you real quick. I have, I only have parts one and two printed out so I can show you what the first two parts look like. Um, that is what the first two parts look like. It's not a big sampler, um, unless you want it to be. Um, I did go ahead and put this, I wanted to put it on an 8 inch Q-snap. But, one of my 8 inch Q-snaps is currently holding the 2020 pandemic sampler. I'm not taking that off that. The only other 8 inch Q-snap that I could find, I know I have another one. Sorry, my washing machine just kicked in. Um, I know I have another one, or I thought I had another one. Um, but the only other one I could find had a broken clamp. So it only had three clamps on it. Um, so I decided to go ahead and put it on the, on a seven inch hoop. So I can show you where it's at right now um so far i literally just put this on my on on the hoop yesterday um after i filmed my little clip um and i've got this green right here this all these right here i got all of that done last night um not these things coming down that color i but i i got these other ones like this color right here got all of that done and I started over here on this, so. I'm trying to think if I see here, baby. Um, but I got all of that done. Um, I'm actually going to, I need to readjust the Q-snap to move this over a little bit. There's still a little bit more that comes out. Not a whole lot. This is, um, this is even on the Q-snap. So, I mean, this is even on the fabric. So it comes out a little bit more, but not a whole lot. Um, 
when I started this, I have it. I had it on the 11 inch Q stop, so this is as far as I could get out. This is as far as I could go out on that. So, um, let me see. Yeah, it is. Okay. So really, um, it actually ends right here. Sorry, <laughs> this this line goes down right here. That's all. So what I think I'm gonna do is like once I finish this, um, that that green in here, then I'm gonna go back and start on the flowers. I may or may not decide to go ahead and do that line down. So, but that is basically where it's at right now. And it says on a 40 count, I'm using one strand over two. Um, don't ask me what the fabric is. I think it's probably, maybe Wren? I don't remember, but that's where that's at right now. You can see, so. But, um, that's basically all I have to show right now. Um, Final thing that I wanted to go ahead and put this out there. I am working on a whip parade. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a separate video on my plans for 2021. I'm not gonna be starting 12 new starts. I am going to allow myself some new starts, but I think my new starts are going to be, I'm gonna have my new year new start, and then I'm gonna have eight stars leading up to my birthday on March 8th and that's probably going to be all my new starts for next year um however there is going to be a special caveat to those starts so but I will cover all that when I do my video um whip go stitch from stash that sort of thing um so yeah I am working on that and I'm also going to work on I'm going to do my whip parade eventually if I don't do it on Christmas, I will do it sometime between Christmas and New Year's. I'm still kind of getting together my plans. So, um, be that as it may, it's probably going to take that long. Um, I know my eyes are looking super light today. Just, I don't know what it is about the, the specific lighting today. Um, yes, my hair is getting long. I really want to. See how this See those split ends? I am in split end central right now. Um, but I've asked that for my Christmas present, I want to be able to get my hair done. Because I did just take a shower like a little while ago. Um, it's My hair is still just barely damp um, still. And like you see how it's a little bit wavy? I want to be able to hold on to that when my hair is dry and like not brushed out but you know that sort of thing so I've asked for my birthday present my um my Christmas present to be able to get my hair done because I've been thinking I'm going to get one of those like modern perms um and there's a lot of different styles um I want to get either a um either a wavy perm or a loose curl perm so that way it's it's not it's not like those tight curls I think you automatically think of from the 80s and 90s whatever it's not one of those it's a perm that sets a loose very loose curl in your hair like you you curled it with a curling iron um, you know the beach waves and that kind of thing so I want to get my hair permed and I think I still have enough length to do it without losing a lot of length because like the wavy perms and the, the loose curls, they don't, they don't take up a lot of length. So I think I'm, I, I'm at a good length right now and the grays, the grays are not welcome. So I definitely need to get my hair colored as well. So I think that's all I have to talk about today. Shows you what I've been working on. Um, showed you the book that I missed in my special edition video and kind of went over what I thought on some things and what I plan to do so yeah that's gonna do it for today 
Um, I need to go check on Abby and make sure she's not still awake. Um, because I laid her down, she was kind of still a little bit awake. Um, but, um, I'm trying to train her into... Trying to train her into not depending on going to sleep on me or on Andy. Um, to be able to go to sleep on her own in her bed. Um, and I know she's, what, a month and a half old right now. Um, not quite a month and a half, like five or six weeks old right now. I can't even think. Um, but, and I know that's not a priority right now, but it would be nice if it could happen. We've actually been finding a lot of success in, um, once she goes to sleep and we lay her down in her bassinet. Um, we have a TV right there in the bedroom and we've been finding a lot of success in playing um, white noise that happens to be supposed to be sounds from the womb um, on the TV like the YouTube it's like YouTube video that doesn't actually have any video it's just the sound it's like the title card and sound and I think it's good for like 10 hours um, but we've been turning that on when we lay her in a bassinet and it's been doing pretty good so far and on helping her stay asleep for two or three hours at a time Sometimes a little longer. I know you're not supposed to let babies sleep too long. But um, we let her sleep as long as she wants to sleep. And, um, but we've been doing pretty good. Um, that, that's been working pretty good um, for the most part. And um, so that's, that's definitely saving my sanity. <laughs> um, because a baby that will not sleep unless you're holding her and won't sleep for more than like 15, 20 minutes in her bassinet in a, in a quiet room, um, that, that can take its toll on people. God, I got, oh. There's a reason my, my channel name is covered in cat hair. Um, but now it's covered in multi-pet hair, cat and dog hair. Um, but I guess that's gonna be it for right now. Um, you know, you guys know I'll probably check back in later, like in the next couple of days. So, um, until I see you guys again next time, or until you see me again next time, um, take care. Bye. Hey guys, it's me. Um, it is Tuesday, December the 8th, right? Yes. Um, and... I just wanted to come in real quick and give you guys an update because I was editing um, together the last few clips that I've done. I was doing that the other day and I watched the videos back. I'm, I'm watching the videos back like probably multiple times as I'm editing videos. Um, and I noticed that there are a couple of things that I mentioned in previous clips that I never really went back and updated you guys on. Um, so I thought I would come in, do a little stitch with me real quick, and um, kind of update you guys on what's going on with that. Um, but I don't want to make this too long because I know from what I've edited so far, it's already at almost an hour. Um, I told y'all I can talk a lot. But I have a cup of coffee here that I've been working on for about 7.30 this morning. Um, I've already had to reheat it once in the microwave. Um, but after yesterday wasn't a great day for Abby as far as sleep-wise. Um, and I felt really bad that Andy had to deal with that when he came home. Um... But today seems to be a good day. Because she has her bad days and she has her good days. Where she'll she'll have days where she doesn't want to sleep that long. Or she only wants to sleep when she's being held. She can't seem to get comfortable. Um, what what habit. We don't, we don't. We still haven't figured out what the deal is. But then she'll have days like today. Where she'll sleep really good. She'll sleep a lot. Um... 
she woke up about 3.30 this morning, right? No, about 2.30 this morning, I think. Um, and so woke up, made her a bottle, and she, it took me about an hour to get her back down. So about 3.30, we, we went back to sleep. And so then I wake up again about six o'clock or just before six. Um, and I thought she was waking up to, you know, eat and whatnot. But I was holding her as I was, you know, walking around to make her bottle and everything. And darn if she didn't fall right back asleep on me. So she just kind of had her, her head on my chest and whatnot. And just kind of curled up, nuzzled up, sleeping. And so she slept. She, she kept, she slept and she slept and she never did wake back up to eat her bottle, which I thought, okay, maybe she'll, she'll, she's, she's going to kind of drift back off to sleep for a little bit and then she'll wake up again in a few minutes. Over two hours later, almost, well, almost two and a half hours later, she finally wakes up again to actually eat. Um, and that was about a quarter after eight, I guess, around that time. And... So she ate, and she didn't really eat that much. Um, she, had, she had about well, about three ounces. So, but given how long she slept, I was surprised that she did. She only ate that much. Um, and it's about nine thirty now. So she's asleep. She's been asleep since about eight thirty. So she's been asleep for about an hour now. Um, she's asleep in the other room. We've got the, we've got like a little heater fan on in there because that room tends to get a little bit chilly. Um, and then we've got the, I've got the, um, the white noise playing on the TV. And she's, she's out. Um, for right now anyway. So, um, I thought I would come in real quick and do a little um stitch stitch with me and do a little stitching while I kind of update you guys on some things um the first thing being that you know speaking of Abby um the first thing being that I know I had said probably way back in that first clip that we had switched her formula over to the Gerber Good Start well we were still having some trouble with that and it could have been the formula or it could have been the fact that we were had started trying to use um both the gas medicine that the doctor had given had prescribed and or gripe water that i had gotten from the store so we were kind of had been using those at the same time because she was still having issues. And so she started being constipated. And, you know, her, her poop was coming out as like nuggets, a little bit more solid. And babies aren't supposed to do that. So, I was reading on Google, I was, you know, kind of doing some research, um, because I look up everything, um, symptoms of everything on Google, and I was, uh, kind of researching if there were, could be any negative side effects to using gripe water, and it did mention that it can, depending on who the maker is and what the ingredients are, um, 
prescribed water has been, um, can possibly cause constipation. That's one of the things, that's one of the things. So, stop using that. Um, and we also decided to, for some reason, we thought maybe the, the lactose and the good start was also a possible candidate while she was having so much issues with um, gas and air. So, at the same time, we also decided to go back to the Similac. Um, it's, I forget. I forget what the, the actual name of the specific variety of Similac is, but it's the one that is soy based for many babies that are lactose intolerant. Um, and I haven't, I haven't talked to the doctor about this yet, but, um, she still kind of, she has days where she has issues with excess air. Um, but in other days where she's fine. So we're still trying to get that figured out. I have not used either the gas medicine or the gripe water in last week. So, um, but as far as the constipation, um, that has, that, that has improved. So I'm thinking that the gripe water was a possible, um, cause for that. Um, still don't know about the, the gas medicine. Uh, that's still to be determined. If, if it gets, like, if there's a day where it's, like, really bad, then I might use the gas medicine, but, um, we'll, we'll not be going back to the gripe water unless I find one that's completely, like, herbs and stuff. All natural. Um, what the heck did I just do? Oh. Um, but, yeah, we're trying to get that cleared up. Um, we're, like I said, we're back on the Similac now. Um, it's kind of helped a little bit. Um, we're still trying to figure all that out. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with that, is that we did change to the, to the Gerber for a while, but... After so many bad, um, bad days with the excess air, we decided to go back to try the Similac, the soy kind. Because Gerber, um, the Gerber formula, at least the, the one that we were using, was, was a milk-based. Um, uh, was a milk-based formula. And... I so said the, the Similac that we're using is a soy based. Um, and also, uh, I was reading something about, you know, babies, if they have like excess, if they have a problem with excess air and gas and, and spitting up and stuff, it may be an imbalance um, within their system. I forget what the exact terms were, but it suggested um, probiotics and the Similac um, does uh, it states on the can that it has probiotics and the Gerber does not at least it doesn't say anything on the can about having probiotics there is a version I remember that I saw at the store that had probiotics but at the time I thought that's just something extra of it but so right now we're still we're back on the we're back on the Similac, um, pro, I don't even want to know what it is, I, I'll edit it down in here, what it is, um, but yeah, 
Plus, I'd have kind of a reward, I mean, kind of a rewards program with the uh, Similac. So, um, that's where we are with that. And the other thing I wanted to mention was, I know there was another video, another clip, where I talked about how um, they were going to be doing COVID testing at Annie's job. Um, they did the COVID testing last Thursday, and one, and he was telling me one guy quit because they were going to do the COVID testing. And I guess he was just, he just refused to take a COVID test. I don't know what was going on with that, but they got one guy quit because of, they were going to do the COVID test. So... Um, they did the COVID testing, and he was actually just telling me this morning that, um, because I thought, you know, by now it would have heard something, because they posted up the list, uh, on Saturday where they were supposed to, and he was just telling me this morning that the, some girl that was helping them out in their department, on Saturday apparently had tested positive um, and nobody was informed but yet at the same time they're not they're not going to make people in that department go on quarantine even though they were working around somebody that had tested positive for COVID Um, the thing is, Andy's not worried about getting it because me and him both feel like we already had a version of it late last year. Um, he was sick. He couldn't, for some reason, he had something going on. I forget what it was that he, he couldn't get rid of. I had a cough for about a month that I couldn't get rid of. Nothing else, just a cough that I couldn't get rid of. And... So we both kind of feel like we've already had it. Um, and so he's not worried about getting it. I still, he's vehemently anti-mask. He's one of those people. Um, thinks the whole COVID thing is a crock. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm kind of of two minds. I think that it is kind of being overblown, but at the same time, it is something that, you know, that we, should be a little bit concerned about um but i he he will not go to a store where he has to wear a mask if he can avoid it um you know if he has to he stopped going to walmart because i started making people wear a mask so now he goes to the food line here in town because they don't enforce the masks um i on the other hand i don't it's not that i mind it's like i'm not I'm, I'm not going to say well, I refuse to go into a store if I have to wear a mask. It's like, if I have to, if just, I do it for my own protection. You never know. Somebody might have something way different than COVID that they could pass along. I do it for my own self. Um, and, but at the same time, I don't like wearing them. I have to wear it at work. But at the same time, I'm not... If I have to, I have to. I mean, if, 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 if I have to do it for my own peace of mind to go into the store, then I'll do it. Um, that's why a lot of times I will go to a store. I will go to the store. Um, especially if I have to go to, like, Bilo or something. Where I'm on my way to work or something. You know. I go, I end up going to the store probably... A lot more than he does because I'm I don't I'm not as I'm not against masks as much as he is but what was I talking about oh yeah I was talking about your COVID test ahead at work um but so nobody has to go on quarantine and 
Everything's still running. They're they're working overtime this week. Um, so, and I'm working a lot more hours this week at my job than I will be at any other time. So we're going to probably take that um, little extra that we have, and because I got a couple bills I need to pay as well. Um. If you're wondering why my eyes keep darting, I don't know if you can see it. It might, but I'm basically, the way this pattern is, it is a repeating pattern across, what the heck am I doing? What am I doing? Um, but it is a repeating pattern across each row. So I'm literally just following along with the flowers before it. Like I'm working on this one over here, but I'm using this as the exa as my pattern because it's a repeating pattern. It's the same across the board, across the row, I mean. Um, so you're lucky I would normally be wearing my big goggle eyes. Um, magnifiers from Amazon but I don't think you want to see me in those so yeah that's what's going on with this job um they had the COVID test for a while I guess he thought that nobody in the department um tested positive but I guess somebody did However, they are not enforcing people to um, go into quarantine. Um, so, you still working? I'm still working. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on with us right now. Um, I am just trying, sitting here trying to get some stitching in while, what am I doing? That one was completely unnecessary. Um, I put in a completely unnecessary stitch. So, yeah, that was fun. Not great. Have you ever tried to reverse stitch something and the thread gets caught? Like, it doesn't completely come back out, the, completely come back out of the hole. Um, so then you have to unthread your needle and... Like, take the needle and, and pull the thread out. Take your needle off of the floss, off the thread. And use it to just pull the thread out. Does that make any sense? Um, like what I just had to do. Well, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Okay, now we're back on track. But yeah, um, so I guess that's all I really had to say. Um, because I know that, um, there were the few things that I had mentioned that I wanted to come back and kind of update you guys on. Because there was, there was an update on them. So, but, um, I guess that's going to do it for now, um, as far as I can tell. 
I've been, I was thinking this morning, it just completely off topic, just random stuff. I was thinking this morning that I wanted to, I have a whole bag of CXC floss and I need to do something with it. I need to organize that somehow. Um, I can't, I don't know if I'm going to bobinate it or if I'm just going to get some floss away bags and a photo box and just put them in there. I might, I might bobinate them. I don't know. Bobinating takes time and it takes time away from stitching. So that might not happen anytime soon, but I, I do need to get in. I do need to get on that at some point. Um, because I do need to start using them. And I'm going to try to pull them out and use them next year for the starts that I do have planned. Um, if I can possibly. And, um, yeah. For some reason, I also, I got into this morning, I had a, a wild hair to look up, um, uh, how far... It was to Ohio for when Stitch, Stitch Con comes around. If I'm able to go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go or not. Um, but I was looking it up. And from uh, the uppermost border of South Carolina where I'm at... Um, it's about a seven and a half hour drive or about I think about an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minute um, flight and right now the flights are really cheap like if I were to, to um because they're having two stage cons next year that's what they're planning the first weekend of the, the first stitch con weekend um if i go in it's in june if i fly in the day before and leave the day after um then i can get a round trip for 169 dollars a flight obviously um i was thinking about like do i want to drive it do i want to attempt to drive it um but i don't know i get really I get anxiety, like actual anxiety, um, panic attacks and all, if I have to drive a long distance. So I'm thinking driving might not be the best way. Um, I'm also not a fan of flying, but I think for an hour and a half or so, I think I could manage, but we'll see. Um, we'll see if I can actually find a way to go to StitchCon because, one, do I go and take the baby? And two, if I don't take the baby, Andy's got to work. So, we, got, we would have to figure out something with child care while he's at work. And she's only been, at that point, she'll be... just over about eight months eight and a half months something like that um so i don't know that's something that we're going to have to discuss that's something that we're going to have to look into but at the same time um i know that the heck oh god i hate it when that happens You go to pull the needle down through a hole, and somehow it has jumped from one hole to another. Anyway, um, but that's something that we're going to have to discuss. Like, I'm still signed up for StitchCon um, to, well, I'm still registered, to, you know. Um, 
I'm still registered for StitchCon, so if they still have it, whether or not I'm going to be able to go or not, I'll have to, I'll, I'm still debate. I'm still looking to see, still debating. Um, we may have to, I'm thinking I can see if my dad and my stepmom can watch Abby, like, during the day while he's at work. And then he would just have to, he would just have to drop, oh shoot, he has to be work at 6 a.m. So that, that means he'd have to drop her off by about 5.30. We'll see. Like I said, it's still, it's still a work in progress as far as whether or not I'm going to be able to go. Um... But I hate to not go. I really want to go. Um, so. But I guess that's all I'm going to talk about today. Because I'm already going on almost half an hour. This is going to be a long clip. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, just wanted to come in and update you guys on a couple of things. And just kind of do a little mini, mini stitch with me. Um, I would like to at least do one stitch with me per video. Yeah. Because if you're like me, you're actually stitching while you're watching floss tube. That's just how I am. And sometimes even when I'm not stitching, um, just late at night, I'll, when I can't stitch, I'll still watch floss tube just to kind of, aww, you know? <laughs> Just to kind of get that feeling. But that's going to do it for now. Um, I probably have a few more days that I can record a video if I should need to. I'm going to try not to make this video super long. But I, because I know that this floss tube is already going to be an hour and a half long. We'll see. So. Um, and I might just. I might go ahead and upload it. As you can see, I don't know. So I just started recording on the first. Technically, I still have almost another week that I could upload. I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. Just because I know it's so long. Um, so... There you go. <laughs> um, but that's going to be it. Um, hope you guys are having a great week. Um, hope you're getting in a lot more stitching than I can right now. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.